Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. It is a particularly cold day here in Iowa and I'm on my way to training. I've got the range to myself for about a half hour here. So I figured this would be a good time to show you what I carry every day in my car. Before I start this video, I want to preface everything I'm about to say with a couple things. Number one, most of what I have in this car is required for what I do for a living. I'm a paramedic and a SWAT paramedic. So this isn't necessarily everything I think you should be carrying, although you can definitely get some good ideas from what I have in my vehicle. Number two is everything in this car is secured if the car is not in a locked location. So I don't have to worry about this getting stolen or anything like that. I'm taking things out of the car if I don't feel comfortable with them in there. With all of that being said, let's start the video. All right, so starting with the car itself, uh, this is like one of the most generic cars you can get. This is the 2017 Ford Escape uh, in a beige color. So, you know, I'm really not much of a car guy. I don't do any mods or anything to the exterior or really interior. This video is more about what's inside the car. All right, so we will start in the front of the vehicle and we will work our way back um, to the trunk. So in the front, there's really not too much special. I've got my uh, hat over here, pretty nondescript, just kind of keep it up in the dash for if I need it. Um, I've got my mug of coffee, so that's got my Americano from this morning. And then up in this compartment, I just carry my uh, Oakley sunglasses. So really not much special in the front. All right, so coming around to the back of the car, In here, I've got a couple different things. Um, right on the back of the passenger seat, I have the Grayman Tactical Molly panel, and that's got a bunch of pouches I've put on it. Now, I keep my uh, patrol rifle here, and don't worry, I don't just keep this on here day and night, you know, anywhere I go. Uh, this is stored a lot of the time, but if I'm going to a call out or going to training, I throw my rifle up here, it's easy access. You know, if you're going to like an HRT, you might have to, uh, kind of deploy fast out of your vehicle. And because I don't have a patrol car because I'm a reserve, um, I just keep this in my personal vehicle. So I've got my patrol rifle mounted there and that's mounted by these two brackets here. It's really easy to get out of the vehicle. Um, I can deploy it from the front seat if I need to, or I can come back here and grab it. I do have a locking mount coming for this, uh, but until then I'm just really cautious. You know, it's not really in danger of getting stolen because this car is secured most of the time. Um, in safe areas. Uh, over here, starting at the top, I've got my flashlight, um, just great for road safety. Uh, you know, there's so many uses for a flashlight. Then I've got my med kit. So on the outer part of that, I've got my cat tourniquet, and that's secured by another product from Gray Mint Tactical. Um, was just trying it out. Uh, I like it, it's just easy to grab your tourniquet and go. Um, this pouch is from Condor. Uh, it's got a molly webbing on the front, and then you actually just pull the side tab. It can come out either way. Um, and in there, I've got a couple different bandages for wound packing. I've got a compression bandage and a chest seal. I usually carry some trauma shears, but I don't have them uh, at the moment. Um, and that's just for your major medical emergencies on the road, and I can grab that pouch and go with it. So, you know, I don't have to open the pouch, get what I need um, before I go help whoever needs it. Coming down below that, I've got a reflective vest for any traffic issues, somebody breaks down. On this side, I've got a uh, rescue hammer. I just bought this from Amazon. I haven't tested it, uh, but it's got a seatbelt cutter and two heads for a uh, uh, breaking a window. In this pouch is my Blaze Defense System fire extinguisher. Uh, it's rated to go very cold, so I can just keep that in this car. You know, it's not huge. It's not going to put out a car fire by any means, but, you know, it'll stop an engine from smoking, um, you know, little little things like that. And it's good to have a fire extinguisher in your vehicle just because that is a problem you could encounter pretty commonly on the road, actually. Uh, the nice thing about this panel, if I don't want to leave it in my car, it's really easy to take out. I just unclip the uh, headrest clips and then the one going around the seat itself and it comes right out. When I get the locking clamp for this rifle, uh, it will have a lock that goes on and the bottom and secures to the base of the seat uh, to keep it from getting stolen, obviously. Uh, but right now it's just super easy to take off and run inside if I don't wanna keep it out in the car. On the seat, 
I've got my plate carrier, and this kind of goes along with the rifle. I'm not usually wearing this plate carrier for callouts, but it's kind of a rapid deployable uh, object I have here. So if I need something quick, I can just reach, throw this on, and be done with it. Coming to the trunk of the car. All right, back here, I've got a couple pretty standard things. Um, this bag is made by uh, Amobilis, and they actually sent me this bag, and this is like the only sponsored item in this video. Um, I'm still evaluating it for testing, but this is a Kickstarter campaign they're launching. I've got a link for it down below you can use. It will support the channel. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily endorsing it at this point because I haven't tested it fully, uh, but you know, so far so good. Um, and in here, I've just have um, a bunch of winter clothes. I've got a hat, gloves, uh, some long underwear, an extra jacket, and a blanket. You know, if you are stranded on the Iowa roads, we just had a huge uh, snowstorm and people were trapped out for quite a long time. So I recommend you have something like this in your car. And then if you are stranded or you need to walk a ways, you have something that you can throw on and you're not gonna freeze outside. Um, snow shovel, I don't really have to explain that. You should have that in your car if you live somewhere where it snows. So this is just a cheap Plano box that I got to store all my ERT gear. In here, I've got my battle belt, my gas mask, my armor, my uniform for callouts, um, and then some other miscellaneous items. It just keeps everything in one place. And then like the uh, molly panel on the back of the seat, I can just grab this, throw the molly panel on top of this and bring it inside for the night instead of leaving it in my car to potentially get stolen by somebody. So uh, that's what I keep in there. You know, under this, in uh, this panel, I've got a spare tire, I've got jumper cables. So, you know, I've got everything I need to jump the car and change a tire, but honestly, I'm not that mechanically savvy, so I don't carry like a huge toolkit or anything because honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything about it if I did have something go wrong with my car. Uh, the only other two things in here, I've got my rifle case here. I can case my rifle if I wanna take it in somewhere. It doesn't look as scary as carrying just an open AR. And then um, I've got an ice scraper if need be, which is used quite often. Guys, that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions about anything I talked about today, please leave them in the comments down below. You know, I'm always open to suggestions. You know, my everyday carries are things that evolve and change over time. So I do value your input on that. Uh, I've got a lot of videos coming up. Um, you know, I'm super busy the next couple weeks, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing next week. But I'm gonna try to do a literature review of the books and things that I've found helpful throughout my career and uh, learning resources for you guys. So stay tuned for that and I will see you next week.